Mr. Smith, if I do this. Welcome to this morning's uh, 9 a.m. Breathwork Yoga Tai Chi. And uh, this morning I'm going to start off by, by opening the kidneys in the back. The kidneys, the hamstrings, rooting and connecting to the feet. <clears throat> in traditional Chinese medicine, the meridian channels energetically our kidneys are um, are um, dealing with fear they're dealing with gentleness they're dealing with peace kidneys is sexual energy and uh, this lower energy this earth earthly primal uh, energy water flowing um, is in our feet so connecting to this energy this this kidney kidney energy <clears throat> um, giving us our rootedness our strength uh, as well as our ability to be adaptable and flow so let's go ahead and stand we're going to stand for our exercises this morning and do our breath work do some bell uh, bellows breath as well as hitting the kidneys and uh, doing some rooting some iron shirt uh, rooting of the feet, activating the feet, activating the kidneys, uh, the inner arches of the feet. Uh, so let's go ahead and stand and let's let's do that together. <clears throat> so right away, remember in Qigong in uh, Tai Chi, the feet are our connection to the earth earth has natural yin energy uh, feminine energy restorative energy uh, yang energy is active male uh, it's fiery it comes from the, the the sun from the universe from above the active energy electric energy coming down to the crown of the head but from the earth is magnetic we're, we're magnetic we're, we're magnetically grounded to the earth uh, through our feet but what happens is through rubber, through our disconnection, through sitting down all the time, shortening of the hamstrings, things like that, that cause us to have a disconnection between the earth and that creates sickness. That creates a disconnect of, of just nature, natural being, as well as our, you know, uh, disconnected from, from nature. So what we're gonna do this morning is connect to that or, or help open these channels open the meridian channels the meridian channels are energetic channels in the body like electricity in our body electricity flows and we're conduits between the earth and the universe we're just conduits of, of energy the sun comes down and it feeds the plants it also feeds us so we got to get outside and, and connect with the sun connect with this this uh young active energy which gives us life right so that all makes sense <clears throat> now we have our arches our arches of our feet um, we have k1 the bubbling spring k1 is right here between uh, big toe and the second toe and that activity point is where we spring and we spring off of the ground and we get energy and k2 is between the inner arch <laughs> Excuse me. So K2 is in the inner arch. Just gonna adjust you guys there. So you can see my feet. <clears throat> K2, so we got K1, bubbling spring, that springs us up, gives us the energy connected to the earth, it brings that energy up, and uh, K2, the inner arch. So we gotta build these arches back into our feet. So grip the, grip the ground with your big toes, Grip the ground, maybe get like a towel and scrunch it or just keep gripping, grip the ground, grip the ground, grip the ground, grip the ground, grip the ground. And by doing that, you're gonna start to feel, not even so, maybe a cramp of the inner arch, maybe cramp there, but it's gonna get sore here. And all this, this muscular up here, which is gonna help pull, pull the energy up. We need, we need, we need these muscles to be active, so it helps pull the blood up. Because, we, because our body has to pull the blood back up. Our heart has to work so hard. And if we're not breathing oxygen, then our heart has to work even harder without any oxygen, right? That makes sense. And people have heart attacks. That's why people, most people die from a heart attack. 
right? Or they die from a cancer because there's lack of blood flow into a particular area. Right, so we want to have the control, the vitality, the vigor, the energy, the chi within our body, the freaking life force, the fight, the will, the strength out of our kidneys. The will is in our kidneys. It's the, that's where the energy transfers from the earth and comes up into our heart, and that heart fire burns, and that heart fire here burning with the with the mind. Right, so we want to connect these energies and and use the heart fire to burn and boil and bo boil the, the 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 water of the the earth and the kidneys and burn this this boil boil this energy up and create steam and the steam is our chi that's what's that's what we're gonna have that life force that chi that heart force energy that primal energy in our heart okay so again the kidneys are suction cups. The feet are suction cups. We need to activate these kidneys, these um, these inner arches, K2. Okay, so K2 activates and it comes up into the inner ankle for three, four, five, six, and seven. And we, there's so many energetic points here in the ankle. So we have to have that strength of that K2 to pull up that, that energy up and pull it up into eight, nine, and 10 up into the back thigh, right? And then we come up into the glutes here, right? And our sacrum. Pull that energy up and be nice and strong from the earth and up. Earth and up, okay? <laughs> so, with that being said, that's our kidney meridians. That's our kidney meridians. Our kidneys start here in the ground as our sexual energy, our vigor, our strength, our vitality, our energy in life, our, our magnetism. Our magnetism because yin is magnetic. Yin is magnetic. And kidneys are magnetic. So we want to have that magnetism. And when we have that magnetism, we attract more people. We're more beautiful. We're more vit you know, vital for life force. So let's do it. Let's do this exercise. So we're going to hit the kidneys. We're going to hit the kidneys on the front and the back. Just like this. Your kidneys are on the back here. You can just hit them like this. Help open up. And what this is doing is it's stimulating, it's stimulating blood flow. By hitting the kidneys in the back, in the low back, you're stimulating blood flow. You're bringing blood flow and attention and chi and life force into this area. And that helps and connects. Remember, you're standing, so your suction cup, you're pulling the earth's natural energy. Maybe you're outside in the grass, even better, you're more connected. Maybe you're at the beach, even better, you're more connected. Maybe you're in the water. Go to the, I honestly, I go to the beach is my favorite thing. To go, when I go to the beach, I stand in the water and I have the ocean try to push me over, but I just stand and root myself in the, in the sand. Right, so this is a great way to connect with water, connect with the earth, connect with nature. So it's, you know I mean? It's got a lot of different good elements there to help you cleansing, cleansing to your body, cleansing, you know? So anyway, let's go back into it. You're hitting your kidneys, you're waking them up. We're, we're just hitting them. It's so simple. It's so simple. Just do this for like 30 seconds in the morning and you're gonna help, you're gonna see. Exhale. Kidney sound is a choo. Breathe, expand the back. Can you stand up? See, as you're shaking, you feel like, okay, I can feel the wiggling of my hands, I can feel the buzzing of my hands, I can feel the buzzing of my feet, I can feel the shaking of my like genitals and stuff, I can feel the, my butt shaking, but can you feel your kidneys shaking? Because a lot of times we have so much tension here in our midsection, so much tension, tension, emotional tension from years, 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 years. Like all last year was so uh, grueling on my 
digestion and year after year just gets worse and worse and worse. Am I talking to you right now? Am I talk like we got so much tension here, so we gotta break this up. Break it up. And so going back to this one, you're hitting the kidneys, uh, hitting the digestion on the front. You're hitting the, the large intestine on the front on either side, maybe the small intestine a little bit too. Okay, and then on the other side, you're hitting the kidneys on the back. You swing the arms out, hitting on either side. And notice, we'll just keep going like this. We'll do this here, hitting the kidneys, spinning, just like that. Keep going like that. We're gonna come up to our arms and to our chest too as well. So continue hitting like that. <sighs> Exhale, breathe. Let all that tension off of the heart. <sighs> hit the kidneys, hit the stomach. They give you some vitality and vigor in life. And then hit your shoulders and your chest. Arms, hit your arms. Okay, and lastly, come up to your neck. And what I want you to, the reason why we're hitting our neck is because we have so many nerves that go up into our head. Our gallbladder points all across the head and the side, gallbladder, and then we've got our large intestine coming up into the face and the small stomach and everything. And it all passes through the brachial plexus. So we want to hit your neck. And it may feel jarring at first, but it's really going to help strengthen your neck, strengthen all the deep longitudinal muscles that support the spine and that, that support the little nerves. And all those little nerves that, that help your nervous system and help the blood and help communication, they all get, they get bundled up and they get fucking weird sometimes for out of life. So if someone fucking said something weird to you and that kind of just fucking got you wrong, you got you weird, you know, and you just got the, this tension on you. And that tension will always be there because that person's always there at, at work. You know what I mean? And, and you can't like bypass. So it's this weird tension on your body, you can't let it go. And it's subconscious, and subconscious is held in your body. So we gotta get rid of that, right? So we're gonna hit that stuff out of us. Hit here, hit here in the throat, and it'll help your blood, it'll help your brain, and it'll help your heart. Hit here in the throat, help support yourself, and we'll just hit right here on the side, the jaw a bit. And do that with your kidneys too. So hit the kidneys. Bring it back down to your arm, to your stomach. And slowly, slowly release. Shake a bit. Relax, loosen, loosen the body. All right, you should feel buzzing, buzzing in your fingertips as your chi just connect to that electricity now that you're loose, you're relaxed, you're feeling more connected, a better con uh, communication throughout your whole body. Just gotta adjust you guys. There, and something that to, uh, is it Facebook? So feeling that buzzing sensation, let's just finish out with bellows breath, bellows breathing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe into the abdomen and just get more oxygen. So we're pumping oxygen into the kidneys. So now that we've hit, hit our body in all places, kind of opened up. Actually, one more thing, let's hit our knees real quick. So hit our knees. We hit the feet, just help stimulate. Help stimulate. Open up the back. 
hit the back of the knees, back of the thighs, hit the sciatic nerve, IT band, other leg. Big hit because we have our extra souls. We have our so 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 much support. When I say we have our soul here, our soul, our consciousness, but we have this extra soul. It's like our past. It's like our consciousness is held in our body, and that's that's, that's our subconscious mind. Ninety-five percent of this iceberg. You only see the tip of the iceberg up here. Your conscious mind, five percent of your consciousness, your awareness, whatever you're thinking about it at one particular point, because you can only focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> uh, your extra souls is in your knees. It's your support system. So hitting the knees helps support and give strength to that to, to that past to to whatever's in your knees, whatever whatever's in your support system. So. Hit your foundation, hit your knees, bring more vi vigor, vitality. And then come all the way up, sciatic nerve, hit the, the sciatic nerve. Go back. We already did the kidneys up there, cool. All right, so now let's do our bellows breath, bellows breathing. I'm just gonna adjust this one more time, okay. So we're gonna be grounded in our feet. Grip your toes, pull up on your inner arches, okay? And as we sit here, we can breathe in, in this iron shirt Qigong stance, okay? Tuck your butt in, hips forward so your abs are pulled in, bellies in, and then from here we're gonna bellows breathing. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Do that for 30 seconds, all right? And then from there, we're gonna inhale. Exhale, connect into our belly, all right? Breathe into the kidneys, breathe into the back. Thirty seconds. Ready? Go. Exhale. Walk the feet out. Connect with nature around you. Um, Qigong. Supposed to connect with the trees, connect with the oxygen, connect with the out outdoors. Um, when we were in Thailand and I was at Montauk Place in um, Chiang Mai, uh, Universal Healing Dao, we would connect with the trees. And in Tai Chi, you're supposed to connect with the trees. You can check out uh, one of uh, one video I made on on YouTube, and uh, it's uh, called Tree Cleansing. I think the video is called Tree Cleansing or something. But um, clearing your energy, connecting with nature and trees. So if you're ever in a bad mood, you just kind of like connect with the nature and dump that energy in. Or someone, some, someone again, put some weird vibes on you. Dump it into the tree. Dump it into the earth. Um, but yeah, connecting to this energy. Knowing that you have a connection to nature gives you an upper hand. Because you can tap into that when other people are disconnected, you know? Um, yeah, that's about that, that's about that, so. Uh, let's do that one more time, let's do the bellows breath one more time. Breathe into the belly, the kidneys. 
try to connect to your feet at the same time. I know it's a lot of different little subtle movements and things that you're that you're aware of that you're kind of going through. I know I've been doing this for quite some time and I always do it in random places and random random times where I just start to go into like a meditation where I, you know standing rooting rooting my feet I'm like if I'm at the bank and I'm just waiting in line I start you know rooting my feet I start doing some sort of Tai Chi movement or Qigong um, practice but again connecting and rooting your feet so gripping your toes pulling up on your inner arches and activating your feet was going to help uh, give you longevity in your in your later years because we get disconnected we get uh, disconnected from the earth and that's that's really the the main cause of all disease sickness and disorder is our disconnection from nature you know what i mean i get some likes right there yeah all right i know you guys know what i'm talking about so get outside you know take your shoes off play with your kids in the grass you know what i mean uh be youthful have a youthful mind in later years because as you get older if you if you start being really rigid that's when you break like like bamboo you got to be you know very flexible and, and movable and um and then you'll be able to live well beyond 100 and uh, that's my goal my goal is to live to 300 um and uh, i know it's very possible because uh, of all the practices that i do the herbs that i take um yeah and uh, the the lifestyle that i'm living you know and peace and happiness and practicing that so right now it's just the beginning but into my later years as i start t you know teaching this stuff more and more it really just becomes a lifestyle so the change changing of habits being aware of your breath being aware of you know when there's tension in your body where is the tension and how to release the tension how to go back to more of a youthful state um, instead of being old and rigid be more youthful and flexible with your mind and your body will be youthful and flexible as well so anyway that's it much respect you guys thank you tune in for one o'clock today one o'clock um mma we're going to be going into kali so angles with the hands and self-defense and weapons and, and, you know they've got a knife they've got a bat they've got a you know a gun what what do you do so let's let's go into that at one o'clock later today one o'clock JKD, uh, MMA, self-defense, Kali, much respect. Try not to brace when you're hit. Hitting helps the tension. The hitting helps the tension? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So I hold on. Oh, no, I'm just going to go through this chat. I didn't see you on there. And magnets pull. Mm -hmm. Yeah, magnets pull. So we have yin and yang. Your most dominant hand, if you write with your right hand, that's your yang hand. That's active hand. That's your masculine hand. It's your uh, electric hand. And then the non-dominant hand is your um, yin hand, your magnetic, your feminine pulling. That's a good idea. The hitting helps the tension. Hitting helps the tension. We've got t a subconscious tension in, in our lower back, in our psoas, in our lumbar, in our shoulder, in our heart, in our lungs, in like the deep spaces, you know, we've got tension unsubconscious tension um, and uh, so yeah that's what we got to get out and by hitting the body we're helping to kind of vibrate and and, uh, and and get that out what else to see it thanks do you want the muscles contracted isn't that tension uh, but which muscles are you contracting so we're learning to contract smaller more subtle muscles that are along the autonomic nervous system so you have 
sympathetic nervous system muscles like the the hands and the you got to move it's like the the outer extremities and then you have the sub uh parasympathetic nervous system which is controlling like the large intestine and controlling your digestion and then controlling your uh your small intestine and your digestive organs and your rest and digest so you, we want to we want to learn to activate the rest and digest muscles and and uh and calm down the sympathetic muscles and this this just is an ability to control the body control the nervous system control the the mind and uh, fight or flight you could literally kill yourself without even knowing it people do that all the time they they have autoimmune system disorders and diseases um that uh, they're they're literally killing themselves in such a subtle way. They they're living with it, but they're you know what I mean. So all of these past things that we hold on to, in 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 our subconscious in our body that that we know deep 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 down, but we're not we're gonna forgive. We're not gonna forgive. We'll never forgive. You know what I mean. So there's I know there's people that have issues like that, um, but they're hurting themselves and but yet they're okay with it they're so strong they're so will will so there's just again there's a lot of different everyone's different you know everyone's got a different story so i don't know whatever i'm thinking right now but all i'm trying to say is that, that the body is powerful and we hold on to subconscious it's in the body so if we can let it go we can let hit it by hitting the body you know we're we're jolting it we're also strengthening it we're conditioning it in a small way so this is just just you know hitting and over time you're going to readjust and put yourself into a, a more positive place it takes years it takes two to three years and unless you want to do some sort of major like chiropractic uh surgery those are like major stuff but a lot of times you're not you're not helping the person energetically and so they may even you know so it's it's a weird dynamic the, the everything you know everything's a weird dynamic but if you if you can do it affected at an energetic level as we're doing right now with this exercise we're doing uh you know at, a, at an energetic level as well as a physical level so we're trying to affect all levels just through our simple consciousness and awareness and that's what qigong is you're you're like i'm not gonna cut into myself but how would i heal myself if i didn't need to cut into myself you know what i mean how would i uh, i would massage it i would press into it i would hit it I would try to shake it, I would meditate, I would imagine it, you know, to be healing. And that's what Qigong is. is you're just using your mind and your, your hands and your body in a way to heal, to strengthen, to fortify, to, you know, uh, your vibration, whether it's your, oh, or it's, a, you know, I, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. There's, you know, there's, I'm creating it through my ability, so um, through my awareness. That's what Qigong is, and that's what we're essentially doing. By affecting the organs, we're strengthening the vitality of the body. And there's certain energies, like the kidney energy versus the heart energy. Heart energy is fire. It's in the heart. It's in the upper body. It's just me talking. My heart is talking right now. And my jaw, my mouth, and, and heart are in connection. Uh, and then uh, my breath. Me taking more oxygen it means I'm more relaxed, means my heart's more relaxed. By me talking more and breathing less, that means I'm more anxious. And so there's a lot of like stuff going on there. Anyway, that's I've talked enough. Much respect to you guys. I will be back at 1 o'clock to do more MMA. We'll work on Kali today. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then.